Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam and Toyota in downtown Nashville. Uh, now I'm coming to you with an answer to a question that I was asked, so definitely appreciate the question again. Um, this is the 2017 Highlander, but this answer is going to be the same for anything from the 14 through the 19 uh, Toyota Highlander. The question was about the blind spot monitor. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you this is the blind spot monitor right here. You can kind of see this, uh, kind of, if I put my finger there, you can kind of see the uh, indicator, let's put it that way. That's your indicator. You have uh, in the back behind the bumper here, there's actually a sensor that's built into either side, kind of at about a 45 degree angle, somewhere around in there that uh, shoots out the back and it looks for um, something that is in your blind spot. Also works for your rear cross traffic alert. So what I'm gonna show you is how it works and also how to turn it on and adjust it. So um, what I've just done is I've just um, turned on the vehicle. Um, radio is probably gonna turn on here in a second. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to get through. A little bit of everything, let me turn this air down a little bit, make sure I don't have a feedback. All right, so I'm looking, I'm in here on this particular, this um, toggle, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so you can see you can always scroll down, you can scroll through different things, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll over to the right or over to the left, whichever way, and get to that, that little gear. Once you get to that gear, you're gonna see this BSM, all right? BSM should say on. If it doesn't, you've hit that button, it says off, so you can actually shut that off. When you hit the on, it will light up in both mirrors to let you know that it is on, all right? Now, you'll also see down here, it'll say BSM. That means on. If it's off, then that will be off. Um, first off, if you have different trim levels, the lower level trim levels will not have that in the mirror. So that's the first thing you should check. If you're wondering if you have it or not, you should have that. The other thing is if you have that, then you have the rear cross traffic alert. What the rear cross traffic alert will do is it uses those same sensors to look for a bike or a person or a vehicle that is coming behind you. If that person's coming behind you, both of those sensors will light up and flash and it'll go beep, 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 beep as you're backing up to let you know that somebody is likely behind you. So um, that's how that particular system works. That's the rear cross traffic, that's your blind spot monitor. Um, so no matter what screen you're on, you'll see that BSM will stay there. It's a green light, green lights are good. Always remember that. Um, if that BSM is not on, you have not engaged your blind spot monitor. Uh, factory defaults will turn your blind spot monitor on from the factory, um, but that is the way to tell whether or not it's on, how it works, um, and then obviously what you're looking for. So also, uh, you might wanna know when it turns on. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and shut this back off because I can tell you that from outside the vehicle. So like I said, you have a sensor that is right here. It, it's kind of kind of aimed off the bumper this way. So when you have somebody that's coming up, they're coming up right to your blind spot. They're kind of obviously I'm not in a spot where there'd be a blind spot right here, but um, they're coming up to your blind spot and they're coming up to near your bumper. Those lights will turn on. Now that light will turn on on whichever side that car is on. Now, the other thing is, is if you turn on your turn signal while the blind spot monitor is lit up, it's gonna start to flash. Um, that flash is meant to get your attention. Um, I've had people ask before, well, why doesn't it do an audible sound? An audible sound is distracting when it comes to that. So um, they're hoping you're checking your mirrors. It never takes the place of a safe driver, of course, uh, but they're hoping you're checking your mirrors. And if you look at your mirror before you change lanes and you see that flashing, hopefully you're gonna realize that there's an issue there and, um, and not get over, or at least delay getting over, make sure that uh, you don't have an issue. So. Um, like I said, this is uh, the way that it works on actually most of the Toyota vehicles, uh, but the specific question that I had was on the Highlander, um, and that's what I wanted to show you was on the Highlander. This is the 14 through 19 Highlander. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, so definitely let me know if uh, there's additional questions I can answer for you. I'm more than happy to help you guys out and uh, give you all the information you need. Once again, Steve Walsh, Beam Toyota. If you guys are in the Nashville area want to buy a car, definitely come. I am happy to help you guys and help you into your next car. I will be your salesperson and I will definitely make sure we have a good time. So Steve Walsh, Beam Toyota, downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Okay.